Hey friends, it's Amber from youneedanamber.com and thank you so much for stopping by the YouTube channel today. I'm going to do something a little different, something I don't do very often, and that is a walkthrough of a brand new platform that I've just discovered called With Moxie. I heard about this platform from a friend who spends a lot of time on AppSumo and she gave me a very quick walkthrough and I was in love, immediately went and bought it and I'm like 99.9% .9 sure I'm going to move from my current CRM over to with Moxie, which is something I never do. Like I never, <laughs> I find a platform, it works, I never change. So this is, this feels really big for me. So I'm super excited to, uh, to dig into it. So what we're doing today is I'm going to get my account set up and walk through all of the buttons and have a quick look around with you. I'm not importing data. I'm not adding information. This is just like a walkthrough from someone who's never seen it. So if you are curious about what with Moxie looks like, have a watch because we're going to get into all the details and click all the buttons. Let's go. Okay, so here I am in the back of Moxie and I'm just doing my very, very first setup. This is the first time I've ever been in the platform. I've kind of seen it from someone else, but this is my first time going into the platform and filling out all of the data just for me. So we're going to go through this together. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what screen is coming next. So we're just going to go through it together for a full setup of with Moxie, the new CRM that's available. So it's asking me what I'm hoping to achieve. And I guess I'm going to say centralize my business because I do want everything all in one place. My goal with this CRM is to minimize the number of products that I pay for, the number of places that I go to get work done, and make it super easy for clients to do work with me. So I always say, you know, make it easy for people to give you money, make it easy for people to work with you. And that's what I'm trying to do with this CRM. So I'm going to say centralize my business and continue, continue. This is just giving me like um, some explanation of what the product does. And now it's going to allow me to load up some sample data or do it on my own. I guess I'm going to say yes, some sample data because I, again, I don't know what this looks like. I don't know what this is going to walk me through. So it'll be interesting to see what uh, the software platform does as my user experience to walk through this. Okay. So welcome to Moxie. So it looks like um, there's like a checklist over here, maybe like a to-do list. I'm sure up here is my profile where I can change my picture. Um, yep, this looks like a to-do list. So to-dos, notes, schedule. I wonder if um, I can assign other people to my to-do list. That'll be interesting. So congratulations. And then this is their help center. So that is really great also. So I'm going to click start exploring now. And this looks like that it has populated with some data. This is not my data, but remember, I just clicked the button that said populate with some sample data so that we kind of know what it looks like. So it looks like here at the top, uh, there's a home base, which is what we're in now. This looks like a simple dashboard to show me what my revenue is looking like. And um, a time tracker is what it looks like. And then focus. Um, this looks to be a calendar. I wonder if I can integrate my, um, my Google, my business calendar here, and then some tasks that, uh, are populating also. So that's interesting. Uh, and apparently I can sort it by project, by client task. So yeah, it looks like here in this home base, I can sort by how I want to look at my data. I can look at the calendar. Again, this is just sample data. So it just shows you what is on hand. I like that it shows me what deliverables I have. Oh, and it looks like there's a progress bar here at the top. So that's super fun. And insights, this appears to be the same. Oh, so insights is where it brought me to, um, which is more of the dashboard. So I guess home base is my to-do list. Okay. It's interesting that it brought me to 
the last button in the bar instead of the first, but that's fine. Um, this probably gets rid of that. Yep. So I'm going to click home. That's where we were. So clients, this is where I assume you would list out all of your clients. You can probably list contacts per client, how many hours you've worked, revenue, and then view the details of them. And then I assume that this little red button here is how you make a new client. So you enter in that new data, that very general data. What would be great is if Moxie had a new client form, like a questionnaire that a new client could fill out. Or if I enter a contract, I wonder if it goes in a specific order. You have to do a client and then a contract. And so, yeah, that'll be interesting to poke around. Here in projects, I'm going to click into the sample project. So it tells me just the overview data here on the left and then what the project is looking like, which is really great. This is very similar to what Asana does for you, where you can track your projects and give a description. Although Asana, because it's a task management platform, it's much more robust, but it's nice. There is some data here for you. Um, here is a task list for the specific client. Um, and it looks like I don't have another user uh, in my platform quite yet because we're just setting up, but it would be really great if other people could be assigned to, um, to the projects. Any notes that you have? I guess this is any invoices that are associated with this specific client and any time tracked for this specific client. I'm sorry, for this specific project of this client. So that is really nice that everything is all in one place. I'm going to go back over here to the left and click inbox. Right now there's nothing here. Uh, you will need to collect an email account. So that's interesting. Um, I don't know that I would, I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking through this with you because this is my first time seeing this platform too. Just thinking, would I want all of my emails in two places? I think the answer to that is no. I'm really good at keeping my inbox under control. I probably have less than 50 emails in my inbox right now. So I don't think I would want emails in both places, but I don't know. Back on the left-hand side, there's a pipeline button, which is amazing. You can add opportunities. I'd be very interested. Um, oh, let's look up here at the sales. Oh no, that's just the name of this tab. Very interested to know... Um, if you can make a new opportunity and then rank them like we had they filled out a form and then we had a call and then they did this before they before you won so that would be oh yeah look it, okay they have thought of it which is great um so if you are someone who uses i think it's called pipe drive this could potentially replace pipe drive also all in one place because all of these stages of a new opportunity are already here. So that is really great also. I personally keep track of all of my opportunities in Asana, but that's not super efficient and effective because if that opportunity is one, then I have to move all of the data over to my CRM. So it is better to have it all in one place just for efficiency purposes. So this might be a super fun, uh, super fun part of the platform to play with. Over here on the left-hand side is accounting. This is something I'm very interested in playing with and potentially uploading all of my data because the CRM that I currently use has an accounting feature in it and I do use the report function. So I'm gonna click up here on reports. Um, this looks like, this is just month over month. Oh, past six months. So I could go just this year done. So all of the months are at the top here, which is interesting. I guess this is a profit and loss, I would assume is what this is. And then I guess you would download. Oh yeah, profit and loss. So you can see it down here in my download. So apparently that is the only, only report, which is fine. That's honestly all I use. But if you're someone who uses a balance sheet or cash flow statements, this might not be robust enough for you. But for me, it is. Uh, back over here on the left hand side is agreements. 
So it says at the top proposals, quotes, and contracts. Uh, it would be interesting if the platform allowed me to send a proposal, they accept, and then they sign the contract, and then they pay the deposit. That's and then schedule something. That's what I would ideally love. Speaking of scheduling, haven't seen that yet. So wondering where that is, but that would be my ideal situation because right now I do all of it manually. Actually, what I do is I send a proposal an email. They say yes or no. We modify it there. Then I send something to get an e-signature and then I send the invoice. And yeah, so it's just a lot of like manual work that I'm trying to avoid. So hoping to see what that would look like. I'm just going to click into this proposal for a second. Looks very pretty. Okay. Okay. I guess I can share it with, oh, I guess if you do set up your email, you can send it right from here. Okay. That makes sense. And that makes me want to do that. Or I can send the link or print it, which I probably won't ever do. And then there's some just different templates. It's interesting that this button says create template. It makes me wonder if templates do not exist. And if they do not exist, I'll probably have to move my templates over from my current platform that I'm in. And then here at the bottom are the timesheets. I don't really track my billable hours. That's not really how I work, but this could be very, very great for others. So the only thing that I don't see are scheduling features, but I'm going to click this red button here at the bottom to clear the sample data. And then, oh, okay, nothing on my calendar. Great. Here's just a note from the owner. Maybe I'll write him back later. And, hmm, okay, I really would love a scheduler and I feel like I saw that. Okay, upload my information, delete account workspaces. Oh, this might be really interesting if you need more than one company, which I do have. This might be interesting to have all of that here in one spot. Yep, you just make another business, so that is great. And the user settings, update your notifications. So the only thing that I'm looking for is a scheduler function. What if I go up here to calendar again? Filter, no. Event, no. So that's the only thing that I'm really looking for that I don't see right off the top. What if I go into the help center? They have a search functionality. Oh, maybe they do have templates, time tracking. Meetings and forms. Scheduler overview. Okay, so it does exist. I just need to find out where it is and make it happen. And it looks like it integrates with Google and Zoom, which is what I use. So that makes me really happy. Great. So I will play with that later when I go ahead and get things like actually set up with real data. But overall, I am very, very impressed. Friend, I am impressed. I'm very, very impressed by with Moxie. What I'm most impressed about is how pretty it is. It's very clean. It's very easy to know what I'm clicking and know what I'm getting into. Of course, I didn't set anything up. I don't know the functionality, like the workflow. That's probably like a user issue that I need to just set up and make all of the functionality work the way that I want. But it's just so pretty and so clean and so easy to click and it just makes sense. It makes sense for freelancers. It makes sense if you are a solopreneur or you just have a couple people on your team. It doesn't have to be this huge robust system. It just needs to be functional and easy and honestly, it needs to be pretty, which it is. So huge props to the With Moxie people. This is a beautiful, beautiful platform. And 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to focus on anything else that I need to do today because I just want to go in and like move all of my data and play around and click all the buttons. But we'll see because, you know, like I got to get work done. So thank you so much for stopping by the YouTube channel. If you are interested in more content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm going to make videos of all of the setups that I do in this new platform. And I am so excited for you to come along this journey with me. Thanks for stopping by. See you soon. Bye.